There comes a point in every dog owner's life when an uncomfortable truth hits you. The realization that your old familiar partner, the one you've spent countless hours hunting and hanging out with, won't be physically able to do this much longer. I'm getting closer and closer to that point with Scamper, my 12-year-old Springer Spaniel. We were greeted in South Dakota with 20 below zero temperatures, and I knew this was gonna be a tough hunt for Scamp. Add to the fact that Scamper's hearing is almost gone and he can't find me in a cornfield. So before the hunt even began, I made the decision that we'd stay close, limit the amount of walking he'd have to do in the deep snow, and pretty much take the posting positions. What would I do without you, old fella? Scamper was my first Springer Spaniel. And I've had dogs all my life, and I had labs all prior to that, but this Springer Spaniel was completely different. Scamper was like the son I never had. He was like Good boy, my mentor, my friend. Um, he was so smart. We had a, a big Tennessee walker. We bought, uh, his name was Babe, believe it or not. Beautiful horse, best riding horse I've ever had. And he cut his left rear fetlock on something, and he had a big gash on it. Well, when we went to see him that day, some friends were boarding him for us, and we seen the gash, and Camper seen it. He went right over to the horse, and he started licking that gash, because he knew he could help him heal it. And every day we brought Scamper back, he worked on that gash, and the horse never tried to kick him, never tried to do anything because he knew that the dog was trying to help him. And it was amazing to see that happen. And a little better than a week, he got it healed up for him. Just automatically did it, never asked, never told. He was so smart, he could figure things out. They've got a lot more intelligence than we know. But the main thing that your own dog has when you're taking him hunting is so much love and hopefully respect for you as a person, as a, as a hunter. Because the more respect he has for you, the more love that you're gonna get out of him as Catch well. Up, Scamp. So do the right job with him. Good boy, Scamp. Take care of him very, very well, and they'll take care of you, and you'll be so close to him. It's a love affair that's okay with your wife for you to have. How's that? So he opened, brings the bus over to get us ready for the afternoon hunt who's the first one on the bus, Scamper. And there he sits all by himself, just waiting for any humans to join. <laughs> it's wonderful, it's just so wonderful. What a good friend he's turned out to be. What an incredible friend. He did good. Yeah, he just made his year. He can retire now a happy boy.